Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Kim. So nice to meet you if this is your first time here. I got this product from my mother and it's one of the holiday gift sets from Benefit. The only thing is, since I've received this, Benefit has issued a recall or a voluntary recall on the Gimme Brow, which is part of this collection. So this is what I'll be reviewing today. It's the Benefits Brow Bonanza set holiday collection, which is really fun packaging and everything like that, but it does have a product that is recalled voluntary though. I've been sitting here staring at this, reading the Benefit website, seeing about the recall, going on different websites, seeing if they're still selling the product. It looks like they've taken Gimme Brow completely off the market as far as I can see. For example, Sephora is taking it off, Benefit has it out of stock, Birchbox, everything like that. It seems to be like taken off completely and then any of the sets that have the Gimme Brow in it seem to be removed as well. So <laughs> I don't have the receipt for this. I don't even know if Shoppers Drug Mart will let me return this. So with that being said, I am going to review this holiday set, even though I believe you probably can't get it at this point or they might be bringing it back into stock before Christmas. I'm sure there's a huge push at the Benefit uh, Cosmetics Labs to try to re-evaluate the product and put it back out there and put it back in these holiday sets before Christmas. So. We'll see if they get that done, but if not, I'm still gonna review this product. I know it might not help you as far as like purchasing, but I just wanna kinda check it out. I didn't put on brows today and intending to do this product and then reading everything, I was a little confused if I should go ahead or not. And hopefully by the end of this, I don't look like uh, Hitch in the movie when he has that allergic reaction, so we'll see. <laughs> Oh, I'm scared now. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will get right into this review of this uh, holiday product. If you're interested, just keep on watching. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'll put my handles right here. And if you end up liking this video, hit that like button. It really helps me out. So let's just get right into this. So this is the Benefit Brow Bonanza. It retails for $79 Canadian and they say it's a $200 value Canadian that you are getting. So it's in this really cool wardrobe um, packaging. It has actually like a metal uh, clasp. So it opens up, it has seven different products in it, one being a brush. This is in the shade three, which I hope to goodness matches my eyebrows because I plan on going to work after this like this. So I really need these brows to actually look normal. It has five full-size brow bestsellers, and then two of the their pro tools, they say. So this is the spoolie brush here. It just is in a case, and this is the spoolie here, and then it has an angled brush, which is pretty thin, actually. I'm surprised. So this is the mapping tool. I, like, it's literally flat on one side and then has some numbers, and it's plastic. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I guess it helps you draw your eyebrows if you need help. Brow is a brow gel that has a little brush that comes up the top of the uh, container or lid and then the gel is in the middle and you, it's brown. We'll see how this works in my eye. We have the Goose Proof uh, pencil here and then it has like an angled tip and it does have a spoolie on the other end of it as well. And then we have a highlighter, which is their high brow which is this product here, a little bit thicker. It's like a pinky tone, so I'll just show you that. So this is the Browsings. It's a total taming and shaping kit for the brows. Comes in this cute little metal compact or metal looking compact. It's definitely plastic. Comes with a wax and a powder, two brushes and a little pair of tweezers, which is kind of cute. Finally, we have the band product or the voluntary recalled product, the Gimme Brow, which is a brow volumizing fiber gel, which is kind of like fiber mascara for your brows. It's a very tiny little tip there. I'm not too worried say, um, because they don't seem to be, like they didn't make issue at a mandatory recall and they didn't really make a big deal of it. I mean, if it is serious and then they didn't make a big deal of it, then boo on you benefit because that's like really dangerous, but since it's a voluntary recall, they said that if you use it as intended on the eyebrows instead of the eyes, that you'd be okay. I think it should be okay. So that's everything in the package. Let's get into this and start using some of the products. I'm gonna do one of my brows real fast off camera to test the products, and then I will show you on my other eye how everything is, or how to do everything. All right, guys, so we are back. I have applied one brow here with 
basically all the products except for the brow mapper, which I don't see the point of. So we're gonna do this brow on camera so you can see. First, I'm just gonna go in with the spoolie and just brush my brows. So we're gonna go in with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which is this one right here. So I'm just gonna go in. I usually start the end of my brow first because basically I'm just filling that in because I do have hairs, so. And then from there, I do my under part of my front part of my brow. So just basically drawing a line across. I will say that this pencil is very uh, precise, so it is nice. It almost looks like uh, real hairs. I do like it, and it's kind of like, it's a pretty good match for me. And then I go onto the top. Um, I kind of make like a tube. I don't go all the way to the front though. I start about here and go back, filling that in here. We will clean up the edges, so don't worry. And then now I'm gonna start filling it in with little strokes trying to make it look like hairs and as I get near the front I start turning my brush uh, or my pencil up. Next I just went back in with the spoolie tool and just brush through my brow. So this is the Cabrow. It has a brush up at the top so just pull that out and then open up the um, bottom part here and it just is a brown brow gel and I'm just using a little bit with the little tiny brush that they gave me and now I'm just going over pretty much the end of the brow and the bottom line that I made and it just seems to be darkening it up a bit which is perfect. We are gonna go in with the voluntary recalled product Gimme Brow! We are not putting it in our eyes we are putting it on our brows as intended so hopefully that is fine. So I'm just going in and I'm just running that through my brows taming the hairs and it also is adding fibers however to me i don't really see that effect i just really see it like darkening up my hairs kind of and like setting them down which i don't mind like it's totally fine and good i just don't really see the these fibers that they're talking about on to browsings which is the powder and wax so the brush i was like oh these brushes are dinky it's kind of cool because they open like this and turn into a little bit bigger brush. So first I'm gonna go in with the powder, which is this one here. It's a little chalky and it does have a lot of like kickback, but it's okay. I'll use the mirror here actually. And then I just ran this through parts of my brow that needed a little bit more color and a little bit like, um, just need a little bit of filling in, I don't know. Last but not least, we will go in with the wax right here right here and we're just gonna basically go over the brows and make sure everything is tacked down in a way last product that i will be using is their high brow which is that pinky uh, pencil here i use it on this eye it's it is pinky but it seemed to do okay so i'm just gonna run that underneath very lightly like it's pretty waxy and um soft so do not push too hard because you'll get way too much product like that's enough for me and i don't worry i will blend this out i'm gonna go in and just blend that out just blend the edges and blend it into a, my eyeshadow look which i have going today so we're all done our brows i will zoom you out and i'll give you my final thoughts all right so both br brows are applied guys on a normal basis i probably would just do the pencil and maybe um obviously comb through with a spoolie and maybe just set it with um wax or brow gel i wouldn't do all the extra steps but today i did just to be a little bit extra they're a little bit more like instagram brows to recap guys uh this was the great brow nanza by benefit uh, which is currently out of stock on their website but probably will come back before christmas if they are smart and able to i will say that i did like most of the products i'm not going to use the brow mapping tool i don't know what that is for still confused a little bit i mean i kind of get it you're supposed to let me grab it you're supposed to go like, oh, okay, my brow starts here and it's supposed to end here and the arch is supposed to be here. But do you do that on a daily basis? No, I don't. Your brows are not twins, they are sisters and I live by that. These are full size products, which is awesome. I will say that the Gimme Brow, <laughs> So far, so good. No redness, no tingling, no nothing. I just would say do not use it in the eye area. If you do have the Gimme Brow currently, you can return it to wherever you, your point of purchase and you can return it if you'd like. I don't know why I'm waving this around. But anyway, you can return it to your point of purchase for a full refund. Just be careful around your eye area. If you do experience any redness, burning, tingling, anything like that, 
please go to your local eye doctor. I really did enjoy all the products. Yeah, mine is in the shade three. I did like the color. I think it works for my brows. I do have like dark brown black hair. My eyebrows don't work well if they have any reddish undertones and these are pretty neutral, which works great. If it comes back on the market, it might be something that you should uh, look at. They might even uh, lower the cost on it since I had this problem with the recall, so. Keep your eye out for that. If you have any questions, let me know. My social media handles will be up here and there'll be links down below to follow me. If you would like to see more of my content, just hit that subscribe button. And if you ended up liking this video, hit that like button for me not breaking out in hives. <laughs> I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are and I hope to see you very, very soon.